Good morning. Welcome to the Source Sessions Morning Movement Routine. Where we're going to do a full body warm up to get your brain connected to your body, get all of your joints and your muscles warmed up. And really, you just didn't move for the last six to eight hours. So just like every other animal in the animal kingdom, we need to start to stretch and warm everything up before we start to go out into our daily lives and, and move efficiently and effectively. So this is one morning movement routine. You can add things, but we're going to get our entire body moving and grooving. So follow along. All right, so we're gonna start with big decompression breaths into the front part of our body here, so creating length in our abdomen. Big decompression breath in as you breathe out, maintain that length. We'll do that exact same thing to the side parts of our body, creating length and width. Filling up our lung cavity and our abdomen and maintaining that space when you breathe out. We're now trying to do that same thing in the back part of your body, create width, breathing in. Getting taller and taller as we warm up our abdomen creating space for our lower back and spine. From here, we're gonna do the same thing, but this time I want you to think about an umbrella in the middle part of your body expanding in every single direction as we breathe into our diaphragm. Big breath in, and as you breathe out, maintain that length and width. Good job, now let's get our neck warmed up. So from here, hands on our hips, shoulder blades back and down. We're gonna do our yes, no, maybe funky chicken. This is probably my favorite part of the whole routine. Let's start with the yes. So we're Bring our neck all the way back, chin retracted, and then we look all the way up to the ceiling, and then all the way down to our chest, all the way up to the ceiling, all the way back down to our chest. And again, you can do this as many times as you like. We're just gonna quickly go through this. From, now, from here, we're gonna do the no. So retracting the chin all the way back, looking over your right shoulder, and all the way over your left shoulder, feeling the neck stretch in each direction. And then from here, doing our maybes. So, I don't know, let's bring our left ear to our left shoulder. And right ear to our right shoulder. Left ear to the left shoulder. And right ear to the right shoulder. Now let's incorporate that funky chicken, my favorite part of the cervical range of motion. Let's start by jutting our chin out forward and retracting it all the way back, exploring this range of motion. And we're gonna add some rotations into here. So retracting the chin all the way back, rotating all the way to the left as you jut your chin forward, and then retracting all the way back again. I encourage you to do this as many times as you want. We're gonna do this to go in the other direction now, noticing what you notice. Notice if there's any pops or creaks, exploring this range of motion. You might feel stuck or restricted in one area, and if you do, just notice that you can explore that range of motion more. From here, let's get some range of motion into our shoulders. So we're gonna start with our thumbs to our side and trace our, sh our thumbs all the way up our abdomen. Big decompression breath in and shoulder blades back and down, stretching the front part of the chest. Shoulder blades going into our back pockets. Doing that one more time. Externally rotating the shoulders, feeling the front part of the chest stretch out. Awesome, and then from here, getting really big shoulder rotations. We're gonna go in this backwards direction first since so many of us are internally rotated from our daily jobs and lifestyles exploring this range of motion, and then let's go all the way down to the bottom, tight fist, starting really small rotations, going in the backwards direction. Really big movements that are starting from our shoulders, not from the elbows or wrists, and we're gonna continue this all the way up. When you get to the level right at your shoulder, let's flip your palms facing up to get the glenohumeral joint out of the way, and then coming all the way back up to the sky. And then we're going all the way back down. Really tight circles, clench your fists, clench your forearms. Try to engage the muscles in the back part of your shoulder blades as we go all the way down. You might already be getting a little bit of sweat, but that's okay. And then from here, we're gonna rotate our hands all the way up and into this prayer position. Let's get some good thoracic rotation. Big breath in, and then rotating to your right. Exhale, coming back to center. Big breath in. Rotating to the left, and then back to center. I want you to think about squeezing your glutes. We're gonna get some more thoracic rotation in. Squeeze your glutes, keep your abs engaged, and we're gonna rotate side to side as far as you can, but not forcing any back cracks or back pops, just exploring this range of motion, getting some good thoracic rotations mobility in. From here, we're gonna do what we call cannonballs, or since we're on the west coast, we're gonna act like we got hit with a beach ball in our back. So, here comes the beach ball right into our back, and big breath in. Oh, we got hit. Oh, thoracic extension, and then all the way into thoracic flexion. We just got hit in our stomach with the beach ball, and then coming back up to center. One more time, big breath in, and then all the way back into thoracic extension. <sighs> Exhale, big breath in, 
and then into thoracic flexion, getting just range of motion into our healthy spine. From here, we're gonna go into a hip hinge to really engage our hips and turn on the back muscles in our lower legs, so our hamstrings and our glutes, and getting them to work with the muscles in our lower back. So we're gonna start this movement from our hips. Hips are going back, putting all of your weight into your heels as far as you can, then squeeze your glutes to come back up to neutral. We we'll just get a couple of these in, feeling the stretch and the engagement of your hamstrings and the muscles really on the back side of your legs here. A couple more hip hinges. This is one of the most crucial movements to our daily life. We want to move effectively and efficiently in our daily lifestyle. From here, let's go into a deep squat. So big decompression breath in. Starting this movement from our hips, and then we're gonna hinge from the knees as well. Knees are going out as we squat all the way down, squeezing your glutes to come back up. We're gonna do that a couple more times. Hips going back, knees rotating out, making sure that we have equal pressure into all parts of our feet, and also keeping our thoracic spine nice and upright so we're not bending forwards. Noticing what you notice, again, just really getting our hips engaged, our glutes turned on, our hamstrings turned on. Now we're gonna to start to stretch out the back part of our, our legs. You probably recognize this in yoga, a lot of people call it the uh, downward dog. And so we're gonna go from here, big decompression breath in. Let's hip hinge all the way back, coming out into that downward dog position, up onto our toes, bring your hips back, putting all the weight onto your heels and then dropping your heels down to the ground, feeling that stretch into the back part of your legs. Let's go back up on our toes again. You can raise one leg if you want and just drop with the left foot, raise the other leg up, drop with the right foot, or you can keep both feet on the ground, just really feeling that stretch in the back part of your legs. And then from here, let's go down onto our knees to really get the muscles on the bottom part of our foot, which tend to get really tight overnight. A lot of people who have plantar fascia problems or any type of conditions with their lower legs, we really wanna sit back onto our heels to really stretch out the bottom part of our feet here. So feeling this nice stretch on the bottom part of your feet, let's put our weight back into our heels, getting a little bit more into the, the actual arch of our foot. And again, you can do this for however long you want. We're just showing you a little bit of what you can do in the morning to really stretch out the bottom part of your feet. And last but not least, my second favorite part, we're gonna get our wrists and our forearms really warmed up, especially people who are working on computers for a long period of time. We're always in this forward position like this. We really need to create some space and length into the front part of our wrists and forearms. So from here, I want you to keep engagement into your fingers. We're not passively letting our fingers drop down to the ground and getting a bunch of clicks and pops in our knuckles, but I want you to think about pushing your fingertips into the floor while you stretch out the front part of your hands and fingers. You can put the weight onto your pinky finger and then slowly ro rotate onto each finger in your hand, even engaging your thumb into the floor. So from here, palms as wide as you possibly can go. Let's spread our fingertips onto the ground and we're gonna, with keeping our weight onto our, the heel of our hand, start to rotate forwards, flexing forwards and stretching that on the, the back part of our wrists and forearms. And then you can come back Spread your fingertips a little bit wider and then really get in that engagement of your wrists and forearms. And now we're gonna flip our hands the other way. So fingers pointing towards your knees, keep the palm of your hand tightly on the ground, spreading your fingertips and you can lean away, feeling that again into the forearms. Let's get some other engagement into the forearms. So we're gonna cross our fingertips this way, both going opposite directions and then you can lean to your right, feeling that on the right wrist and forearm and lean to your left, feeling the left wrist and forearm. And again, you can do this as much as you want. We're gonna go onto the back part of our wrist here. I encourage you, if this is your first time doing this, be careful. We don't wanna sprain our wrists, but we're gonna bring our wrists all the way down to the ground. And like you're painting the ground, try and push your wrists away from you, feeling that on the back side of your forearm and into the wrist itself. You can play with spreading your fingertips in this position, rotating your elbows in and out to really feel all parts of the wrist start to stretch and those ligaments start to become a little more loose from our chronic lifestyle of working on computers and using our hands. So that was just a simple movement routine for the entire body. I encourage you to try this for a few mornings, see how it changes your day. You can always add things later, and we'll catch you guys soon. Thanks for checking out the Source Sessions.